Uh, hi folks, um, I just got in Stratomatic Black and what I'm going to do with this project is I am going to make up 20 teams and I'd like to get your help. I am going to draft 20 teams from the cards. I'm going to start with a position, pos position each day. I'm a big baseball fan, but I really don't know a lot about the history of uh, baseball and some of these players I, I, I don't even know. So what I'm going to do is go through the players. I'm going to rank them how I see them just based on their name. I'm not even going to look at the stats because one of the things I'd like to do is when I draft these 20 teams, I'd like to have some really good teams, some bad teams. So I don't want them to be even. I'd like them to kind of be staggered. So it's going to be like a real baseball league where you have some real strong teams and some weak teams. So I'm going to go through them and I'm going to put them how I think I see them and rank them. But like I said, I don't have a lot of depth of the history of baseball. And if you think somebody should be number one, could you put it in the comments? Whatever player gets the mo his name mentioned the most in the comments, I'm going to boost him to number one. And tomorrow night, I'm going to conduct the draft. I'm going to start with catchers. I'm going to draft the catchers tomorrow night. I'll do it on video. And then I'll introduce the first baseman. I'll sort of give my interpretation of the first baseman, who I think should be first, second, third. And then if you guys want to give some input, anybody that you really like that I maybe not be totally familiar with, I'll boost that guy. Whoever gets his name mentioned the most in the comments, I'll boost him to number one. And I'll use your comments to uh, help me with the draft. So I'm just going to unveil the catchers. So like I said, I'm going to draft 20 teams. I kind of went through them, and the first guy that jumped out at me would be Johnny Bench. He was a classic guy from the 1970s with uh, Cincinnati Reds. At number two, I got Joe Maurer. I just remember him as a guy that always hit 300, uh, the number three hitter in the lineup. Uh, I think he may have had a little less power than Johnny Bench, so I got him as number two. Uh, next, Ivan Rodriguez. He was gun for an arm, a good offensive catcher. Um, I've sort of put him behind Maurer. I think Maurer's a little better hitter than him. Uh, number four, Josh Gibson. I think Josh Gibson was unbelievable. I think he may be a little bit too low here. I might even move him to number two. I don't know a lot about the Negro Leagues. Yeah, maybe I'll move Josh Gibson to number two behind Maurer. Have him running with Johnny Bench if you think he should be higher. Next, I have Mike Piazza. I've sort of got it behind these guys. Piazza's great for home runs, good power. Doesn't have a good arm. Even his plus two is not that great. Again, I don't know what the stats are on the back. I don't want to look at the stats. I don't want to influence them. Uh, next, Gary Carter. And I should tell you, uh, my the first pick with my Hall of Fame teams, my teams are all named after defunct Major League Baseball teams. So it'll be the Louisville Colonels, the Montreal Expos, the Milwaukee Braves. That'll be the names of my team. Uh, Montreal's going to have first pick. And actually, if Montreal has first pick, I think i got to give him Gary Carter. Like, Gary Carter's got to play for the Expos. I've got Carter here. He was quite an inspirational player. I grew up in Canada, and I remember watching the Expos. They're like my favorite team. I was devastated when they moved to Washington. Uh, next, probably one of my fondest moments, I was sitting in a bar watching Carlton Fisk. Uh, actually, maybe it wasn't sitting in a bar. But I remember Carlton Fisk hitting that home run, waving it against Cincinnati. Uh, that was unbelievable. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen uh, in baseball. Fisk might be a little bit low behind all these guys. I'm not really sure, uh, but I have Carlton Fisk next. Roy Campanella. I don't know much about the Negro Leagues. I know he was a stud. He's probably way too low for this group, so if you like him, uh, maybe tell me who you think should be one, two, three, and each of them will get a vote. Uh, Campanella I have next. Uh, Yogi Berra, um, great catcher, probably more for his humor than anything else. I'm not really sure. He's a good hitter, I believe. Um, back, I was probably, I was born in the 60s, so I don't know if you even remember watching Yogi Berra play. Um, but I've got him next after Campanella. Uh, Ted Simmons, great 300 hitter for St. Louis Cardinals. And then from here on, I don't, I, I'll be honest, I don't really know these guys. If you know them, uh, maybe 
give me a shout about them. But I have Biz Mackey, uh, Ernie Lombardi, Deacon White, Rick Farrell, Mickey Cochran, Roger Bresnahan, Buck Ewing, Gabby Hartnett, Louis Sand. Now, Louis Sandup, I, the name is familiar because he used to play with the Negro League cards. So he is familiar. Um, Bill Dickey and Ray Shock. So I'm not familiar with them, so I don't really have them on my list. They could be way better than these guys. When I go to draft, I'm just going to take these guys and shuffle them. If you know these guys or think there should be higher or should be behind somebody, let me know in the comments. So tomorrow night, I'm going to draft catchers. I've got my 20 teams. I've got my library envelopes that I'm going to use for making that selection. Um, so let me know in the comments. And if anybody's name comes up a lot in the comments, I'm going to bump them to number one. Or you can even rank them. If you think Bench is one, Fisk is two, Gibson's three, put that in the comments. And uh, tomorrow, I'll draft the catcher so you can watch that play out. And then I will go over the first baseman, kind of like I did today. I have sort of what I remember them. Now, I'm in my 60s, so I probably remember guys probably more from the, the 1970s to the 1990s. Uh, they're in the Hall of Fame, and some of these older guys, I think a lot of these guys probably played pre-1970, uh, 1960. That's why I'm not very familiar with them. That's one of the reasons I bought these cards, too, is to learn about some of the players. I find playing baseball games the greatest way to learn about uh, the history of baseball and the players of baseball. So i um, kind of looking forward to this project. I hope you guys kind of like it. Again, put down who you think should be the top catchers in the comments, and I'll use those for the draft for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, we get some people chatting on here. hope you like this video. Just quick, fast, and uh, once I get the teams all made uh we'll start playing games maybe we'll do a few on uh on the channel here uh that's all for tonight folks that's stratomatic black help me pick out the catchers the catchers are going to go in round one montreal expos are going to have the first pick in the draft and then from there we'll figure things out uh talk to you later folks bye bye